Hey, Dewdrops, it's Diane from Coravina. Happy Monday. I hope everybody had a really good weekend. I'm happy to see you here, happy to be here with you. I know I said I wasn't gonna be live and here I am live. I just missed you, right? Okay, so I did, that's true, it wasn't a question. All right, so welcome to the Coravina Afternoon Water Marbling Scarf Show. All right, well, we are going to water marble silk while you watch. And in the next 20 minutes, we're going to have a really beautiful scarf that you watched me paint. All right. So let's take a look at what we did on Friday because it was very beautiful. And I love this scarf. It has so many colors in it. All last week, we were working on abstract paintings. Wish I could like get it up close for you so you can really see all of the detail. Okay. So we're doing our scarf shuffle here. You can see all of the awesome detail. Very pretty. Okay. So um, this one has sold. It was painted to look like an abstract painting. I think I said that. It was just totally gorgeous. So I wanted to make sure and show it to you. So this week we are being inspired by your favorite Disney princesses. Isn't that fantastic? I think it's exciting. I love it. You guys voted on what we were going to see today. And so you chose Cinderella as one of your top five choices. All right, so that's what we're going to play today. Let me show you the colors that we are working on for Cinderella. It's going to be a really light and delicate scarf. Okay, so we're starting out classic white. I know I got a lot of colors on there. It's white, white, white. This one is a little creamy. Okay, you should we should see a nice contrast there. Everything else is going to look really light. Okay. Got a couple of shades of blue here. I think they're going to show a nice contrast in the water marbling tray. I have a very light periwinkle and a light gray, but I don't want to heavy it up too much with these dark colors because it's Cinderella, right? She's very, it's very light and pretty. Turning on the camera here because I forgot to. I think everything else is working. <laughs> it was my kid's first day of school. <gasps> so we just picked them up a little bit ago and everybody had a good day. I guess. I'm not sure because I got told that's enough questions for now, mommy, by my uh, kindergartner. So I guess I'll have to wait until a designated time of her choosing for her to tell me more. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to do the same thing we always do when we water marble. We clean the surface of our tray first. So I'm going to put this down here. I'm going to adjust our camera so you can see our big tray and then we're going to get going. We're going to make a really beautiful scarf, I'm sure. All right, so here we are and let's clean the surface here. This, what this does is removes any dust or debris that might be settled on the surface of the tray. All right, so we're going to start off with our bright white because I think that's a good idea gonna give it a nice unclog and here we go we've got a brand new tray of water isn't that doesn't that look good it's clearing everything out I love it when the water flows so smoothly looks like I stirred some stuff up here when I did that just now so we're gonna go one more time with the cream maybe we'll go another time let's go all over with our cream instead of just our white you can see little differences here and there, a little bit darker, but it's flowing so smoothly. I love that. All right, guys, we're going to do some vertical or some, uh, yeah, vertical lines today with our light blues and a little bit of grays. There we go. Yep, so Three Rivers started back today. I think it was a good day. I really think it was. There were some tears at pickup. Um, and I made a choice. Maybe it was a bad one. I put a note in my kindergartner's lunchbox because she can read a note. And I thought, oh, she'd like to know that I'm thinking about her. Nope, apparently that was the uh, wrong thing to do because she got sad. So I guess no notes tomorrow. But other than that, she said it was a good day. All right, I'm bringing in the gray. Honestly. 
Maybe. Reached a stubborn point. Here we go. So for anybody who is new to our water marbling group, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. We are painting on the surface of water. Isn't that cool? Water marbling has been around for hundreds of years. Um, it was originally used for things like paper, mar paper marbling and traditional like book binding. If you were to open up an old library book, you might find a water marble design on the inside cover. Okay, because you can do this with paper too. We are using it today to dip down a white silk scarf and get an instant custom beautiful scarf. Today, that custom scarf is going to be very reminiscent of Cinderella. At least that is our goal. So I'm going to come back in here with some wider lines. Our cream is looking a little gray in the tray here. So maybe we need to increase our white. But everything's very faint and delicate with Cinderella. You think of that traditional ball gown. I love looking at the pictures though on Pinterest because there are a lot of like Disney goers that plan out their Disney outfits and they have very pretty like updated versions of Cinderella or Alice in Wonderland. You know, Belle from Beauty and the Beast. I was pointed out to me that we should probably do two Bells. You know, one with the yellow ball gown inspiration and the other with a provincial bell from the little French town. I think that's a reasonable, reasonable statement there. All right, so I'm coming back in. Right now I'm just thickening up my colors. We want the colors to be nice and thick. See how that moves on the surface? It's so fun. We want our colors to be nice and thick so we get a really vibrant, rich scarf. We're just going to keep on layering things up here. Watch that paint spread. Love it, love it, love it. So for anybody who's new to the group, <laughs> I started water marbling about two years ago. It was an experiment just to see if I could do it really. Um, I saw somebody do it online and I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. And I am still committed to that. I think it is the coolest thing ever. I think it feels like magic that I can dip something down and have it instantly print on silk or paper. I like what we've got so far. I'm liking the look here. All right, what should we add a little bit more of? Maybe this blue or light blue needs a little help. And I'm going to have to take a look back at our inspiration picture. See if this is too much color. I don't think it is. I think it, the colors look a little muted to you guys. There's a lot of like blues blues. I don't know. I kind of like where we are. Everything looks a little bit different. Um, a little bit different in the tray than it does in, in real life. And it looks a little bit different in the rinse bucket than it does in real life also. Just unplugging a bottle here, following through, just thickening everything up. I do think it'll be pretty no matter what. They usually are. Even if it's not right on par with our picture, it's still really pretty. But yes, for this one, we're definitely going for more of the like Cinderella at the ball like we wanted really pale kind of icy colors i'm just looking to see how they're spreading here i think they're looking really good so we're gonna stop right here i hope it's enough i think it looks good though 
All right, so I have a little bit of a plan today that we're gonna go for. We'll see if it works out. I'm trying to go for something a little different. And it might look like something we've done here before. It is similar. Okay. So we're gonna adjust this down. I'm gonna switch screens here so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. So I am just dragging a comb through the water here. Adjusting it a little bit. We're gonna come through with this one. Give this a little adjust here, a little zhuzh. I'm gonna drag it down, watch everything shift. I do like these colors very much, even if we get it and it's not quite Cinderella, but I think it is. I'm digging it. Gonna adjust it down and just a small half an inch shift in pattern is gonna give us, or half an inch shift in the tool is gonna give us a new pattern here. I was really gonna take it another step further, but I like it like this. No, Laura, that is not a silly question. Glitter paint is really interesting. So I have used glitter paint before, and I used to use it all the time in my first kind of season of water marbling, but I don't do that anymore. I don't like to because the glitter actually mixes with the paint and it gets kind of gritty when you're pulling it through. So we have some really fine, delicate, sharp lines and we do glitter. It like almost clumps together on the surface of the water. It's kind of funny. Um, so every once in a while I'll throw it in and we'll try it. But that's why I'm staying away from it today. It's because last time I used the silver, I was like, eh, you know, it's not my favorite. All right, guys, let's dip this beautiful scarf. Get something really pretty. I'm ready for something pretty today. Okay, let's lower it down. All right, a little, little rough landing there, but that's okay, we got it. So now I'm going to remove the scarf from the scarf dipping rack. Let's we'll see what we've got. Oh man. That silk protested. It did not uh, want to come off of the rack. Interesting. All right, let me switch you over, guys. Hello, hello. All right. Oh, good. I'm glad you like it. You got it gorgeous. Okay, guys, we're going to lift this scarf out of the water. I think it looks really pretty. Um, so what we're going to do, lift it up. We're going to see dripping and running. That happens all the time. That's totally normal. It's in fact extra paint that was not absorbed by the silk. All right. So here we go. Let's see what we've got. One, two, three. I like this. I think this is very delicate. The grays don't look that strong. They look like nice grays, not like in your face. I was going to use a gunmetal and I felt like it was too dark. It's gonna be a really pretty one to see dry. I can't wait to see this dry. Let me find a place to put this because my rinse bucket is not here. So that will have to sit and soak <laughs> in it for a little bit. So what happens now? Now my scarf will soak uh, and get the extra paint off of it. And then I'm gonna take pictures and we'll compare it to the Cinderella outfits and we'll see what we think about it, okay? And I will post that later in the Facebook group. If you're following me on YouTube, then I'll post it on Instagram and I'll include a link. Okay, so there, there is an Instagram link in the description of this video. So make sure you give it a thumbs up or like uh, if you like what we did today. It really helps other people see my videos. 
All right, guys, this is Diane from Coravina, and tomorrow we will be back doing another princess theme scarf. All right, have a great Monday evening. Goodbye. Remember, live colorfully. Thank you.